Hello friends and welcome to Tony's Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at an As Seen on TV item that's a necessity item. This is the As Seen on TV Lock Wallet Slim. Now you see here in the packaging you can tell that this wallet is very slim. I'm used to carrying a slim wallet. I normally carry this wallet right here. It's the big skinny and it's about the slimmest wallet that I've ever found and you can see how skinny that is. Uh, but about a month ago, I decided to go to the Vans store and buy a Vans wallet. And I'm going to show you one in the package real quick, or with the package in it, however it comes. This is, this is how it comes when it's in the store. I saw this and I thought, man, that's really slim. And this is an actual Vans wallet. I bought two of these. Um, and you can see it looks very slim. Well, once I loaded all my stuff in this wallet, and it became this thick, which is too thick for me. Anyway, I started thinking immediately about going back to a slimmer wallet. And just about that time, I happened to see this in the store, the As Seen on TV Lock Wallet Slim. Found this at the Dollar General store for you can see right there, $13. When I saw this As Seen on TV Lock Wallet, I thought, you know what, I can review that and that might be a good excuse to go back to another uh, slim style wallet. So we're gonna check this out today and compare it to a couple of different wallets. Obviously we're comparing it next to my Vans wallet that I've been using. And we'll also compare it next to the Big Skinny wallet, which is super slim. And we'll also be comparing it to the As Seen on TV charge wallet. And this is an As Seen on TV wallet that you can actually uh, charge this up and then you can charge your cell phone with it. We're not gonna go into all that. I'm just talking about thickness today. So check that out. And this is uh, made out of like a metallic material. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them to the ultimate test, which to me is the uh, rear pocket test. And that's my big pet peeve with wallets, is I don't want one that's gonna be sticking off my backside, you know, real far. It just looks kind of silly. So I'm hoping to get back to that slimmer look. So I've got four wallets here, including the slim wallet. I'll put them all in my back pockets and you'll be able to see which one is the slimmest. And you know, obviously this one's not gonna win, but you know, you'll be able to see the comparison. And I'll also load this up with everything that I normally load up and that I currently have loaded up in the wallet that I'm using right now, this Vans wallet. And we'll just see which one looks the slimmest in my back pocket. So let's get started. I wanted to throw this out here real quick. The Lock Wallet Slim actually says it has RFID protection on it. So that means that it will protect your credit cards and you know the personal information that's on credit cards and things like that. Thank goodness it's got the perforated back so I don't have to use scissors on this or tear my hands up. Let's hope. <laughs> Instructions for a wallet, really? All right, got it out of the packaging here, and it is very slim. You can see how slim that is. And we'll just compare it next to my big skinny, and it looks like they're about the same width. Might be a little skinnier than the big skinny. But once you load them up, that's when you'll really be able to tell which one looks the slimmest in my back pocket. I don't think that's gonna work on Amazon. And I don't know who this poor schmuck is right here, but uh, you know, he's more famous than I am. First thing we see is we got the ID area right here. And then we've got another pocket on top of that right there. So I guess you can put like anything you want in there, a card of some sort. And then we've got three more pockets right here. And they all look to be credit card size. And then right here we have an open space. And this is where I think you might put cash at. Oh, and I also discovered that there's actually two pockets right here. So you've got not only like the billfold area, but you've also got another pocket right here. So it's almost like you got two billfolds. First thing we're gonna look at is my Vans wallet. And this is the wallet I'm currently using. And it's got a couple of credit cards in here. It's got my insurance card. It's got some a couple of uh, forms of ID. And I, I'm gonna use everything that's in this wallet and the other wallets. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna show you how this looks in my back pocket. Pull this up so you can get a good look at it. Oh, got my Vans belt on here. All right, so that's my Vans wallet. And you can see I got a pretty big mess hanging off right there. I don't like that, okay? So now we're gonna test out the charge wallet. I'm not even gonna to have to put anything in this because it always keeps its form anyway. It's just pretty large. We'll put that in there. And you can see that sticks out pretty good too. So almost looks like I'm carrying around like an old Atari cartridge or something in there. See that? 
Okay, so that's pretty bulky. So we see the charge wallet is also pretty bulky. Okay, now I've got the big skinny wallet filled up with everything that I normally carry. We'll stick it in my back pocket. And see there, good honest look. And you see, it sticks out a little bit, but it's not near as bad as the Vans wallet or the uh, Charge wallet. So I'd say it sticks out about as half as much as the uh, Vans wallet and uh, the Charge wallet. So check that out. And now we'll look at the As Seen on TV Lock Wallet Slim. Okay, and last but not least, we've got the As Seen on TV Lock Wallet Slim. And hey, I think that might be a little bit skinnier than the big skinny wallet. So good comparison though. I, I think that is, I think it's just a little bit skinnier than the big skinny wallet. So yes, I like that a lot. Nice. And it easily is carrying everything that I normally carry in my wallet. It's got a little bit of cash. I've got uh, two credit cards, a couple of pieces of ID, and uh, like a shopping card for Kroger. Let's face it, there's not a whole lot to this testing outside of my own vanity and not wanting to have a big old bulky wallet hanging off my rear end. So this is the Asino TV Lock Wallet Slim. I love it so far, seems to be a good wallet. It's doing what I want it to do, which is hold all my stuff and stay slim. So look there, very slim and it uh, looked good in my back pocket. I liked it and it was a lot slimmer than my Vans wallet or my charge wallet. I've never actually carried the charge wallet because it's so big and bulky and the Vans wallet's a little deceiving because once you get your stuff in it, it plumps up pretty big. So anyway, I think for a while anyway, I'm gonna be carrying this As Seen on TV Lock Wallet Slim. Uh, there will be Amazon links in the description for all four of the wallets I showed you today. I'll have one for the Big Skinny, which is probably my favorite wallet ever made, the Big Skinny. And then we've got the Charge Wallet. Like I said, you know, it's a bulky wallet, but you know, I'll show you the insides of it. Kinda, kinda hard to open, but it does hold a lot of stuff inside this clamshell. And you can charge your devices with this thing. So that's a plus. So folks, if you enjoyed my video review today of the As Seen on TV Lock Wallet Slim, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have a friend or loved one that's looking for a slimmer wallet and uh, you, know, you think they might like this one, share this video with them, please. And if you really enjoyed this video today, please hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell. The bell will alert you anytime I release a new product review video. Thanks so much for tuning into Tony's Reviews today, and God bless you.